So there are certain saints that you will pray to for specific things um, that you will, that the Catholic Church acknowledges when they canonize someone and they become a saint. But even with these candles and like these various things, like, no, like you're not typically putting money on an altar in a Catholic church. Like, no, like a part of the mass, the service is you will collect money from the, the members of the church during a specific part of the service. But exactly. that's it. Yeah. Exactly. So now, this is an actual Catholic altar right here. Exactly. That's a Catholic altar right there where you see the, yes, the cross in the middle. You do see candles, but those candles, yeah, they're always like white candles. It's never where you're going to see like images on the candles. It's it's just not because really the focal point is on the actual priest who is doing kind of like the talking, who's really kind of running the service. And then usually what the priest will do is they will bring specific items, whether it's like the wine, which represents the blood of Christ or the bread, which represents the body of Christ onto the altar at different parts of the mass specifically. So those things will be brought by him or usually maybe by like an altar server who will give it to the priest and then present it, you know, to him to then, you know, to bless it before it's being, you know, served to the members. So she's just full of shit. Like full of it. Thank you, Ellen, yeah. for coming up. You have a good night. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Let's see who we got. What we got. All right. We got Y2K. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right. So it's a deeper conversation in terms of, I'm not going to talk about the celebrity because mm -hmm. they operate under a different code and uh, under a different oath as it's been said about them, as they've said for themselves. That's a whole long four hour, five hour show that you could do where we could break that down. Mm 